Okay, if you don't have a tag gun, you can just use safety pins. And what you wanna make sure is that you go, see how we have the image right here? You wanna go horizontal because that helps secure the tag onto the garment. So you'll go in and then punch it back out. And then if somebody pulled on the tag, it's going to stay secure. One thing you wanna avoid though is covering up your consigner number. So kind of put it up towards this middle or towards the top so that we can always see your consigner number. Some people will tape down their safety pin, but they tape it over their consigner number. You wanna make sure that we can always read that consigner number because that helps us for sorting. Um, I've seen some people at the sale um, just go like this and then they put it towards the top here. Um, you don't wanna do that because see how easily that can tear off. Um, the reason we do it horizontally, when I pull on it, when it's horizontal, the tag just stays secure. It's almost like it's sewing it onto the item. What about using, uh, is using a smaller safety pin okay? For yes, putting... yeah. I was just showing the example of a bigger one just so you could see the safety sure. pin, but I probably prefer a two inch safety pin um, just because they're a little bit easier to deal with on the fabric. And see, that didn't leave any, any markings on the fabric. And then again, once you get home and wash the item, a safety pin is not gonna leave a permanent hole. And they need to be on the, the kind of upper... Yes, upper right. You can yeah. put it... Some people will use this tag and so, because they, they, they're just worried about getting any mm -hmm. pinholes. Um, you can use the size tag or the right side. But you want to keep it flat is the main thing. You want to keep it flat so that when we're checking customers out or sorting that we can always see the tag clearly. And it's easier for shoppers to see yes. on the yes. racks. Great.